Is it practical? Is it patriotic? Is it the right way to go, do you feel? And maybe to add, if Ghana's economic fortunes change for the better, much better, would you still say we should continue with the e-levy doc? I am not among those who believe that we shouldn't have a tax such as e-levy. Far from it. I support e-levy. But the magnitude of the taxation is what I'm worried about. And my worry is simply born out of the statement by experts in the area of economics and finance who are saying that the ordinary Ghanaian, given the economic circumstances at the time, the best way out for us is to peg the, the tax between a range of what 0 0.5 to 1 percent. I am um, in support of that proposal. But look, my uh, thinking did not, uh, you know, um, realize anything simply because the government has passed it at a, a point of 1.50. Look, if you have such a system, then you are likely to have a problem because from the word go, people are not happy about such taxation. It has its own implications on governance and, you know, productivity. That is a fact. But what NDC is saying, I disagree. And I disagree with the respect. What am I saying? Because you can never run any t uh, state without taxation. This is a function of the state capacity. We call it the um, extractive capacity of the state. The state must find resources to run the affairs of the state. We are looking for what? Uh, increment in pay. We are looking for better conditions of service. We are looking, of, uh, looking for infrastructure and all that. Where is government going to get resources uh, to do this? That is not to say that government cannot think outside the box and look at other alternatives that will help us to generate more resources. But for me, I don't think uh, e-levy is a bad tax, but the magnitude is what I'm worried about. If government can do something about it as we go along, fine. But for any party to suggest that uh, when it comes to office, it will throw it away, I know that it is just political rhetoric. Time, will, the reality will dawn on that party very soon. If their wish uh, comes through, that they take the reins of government and govern the affairs of this country. Obviously, you can run away from what? E-taxation, given uh, the manner in which we manage uh, corruption, we manage waste in the system. You have no choice than to look for something like this and then uh, bring but, but, it but they are to saying, augment the resources that we have. So, so you do not believe, uh, from where you sit, that the NDC would do this. And we have precedent. Uh, I always go back to VAT and, and what the MPP did, the, the sequence of demonstrations, Kumi Preku, Siemi Preku, Viemi Preku, they came in and even increased the percentage of it. So I can understand where you're coming from. But are you saying then that um, some taxes cannot be removed? Because even this administration, they talk about some nuisance taxes that they took off, but of course, they also introduced other, other taxes. So it could simply be a game of, I take away this tax and introduce another tax. Yeah, if that's what you are talking about, that's fine. But when you make it specific that you take away E-Levy, then the conversation is on E-Levy and want to see whether it's a reality that right. you will throw that one out. Right. But I'm not sure that uh, they, will, they will do that because, look, look at the way MPP sure also took the, e the government on. I'm not sure because if you look at the way MPP even took on the government in 1995 about what VAT, all right, one would have thought that when they gain power, they would throw it away. But they maintain it up to date. Right. A good policy is a good policy, right. and that is the one that stands the test of time. Hmm.